Or what good are Ultra Beasts to him unless he flirts with the Ultra Beast? <laughs> what? Ooh, what a disgusting human being. Let's get away before his weird hobby gets to us. I What's going on, everybody? I'm Silence Rain, and welcome to another episode of the Pokemon Star Nuzlocke. All right, let's go ahead and go over here. So I want to go ahead and get these items out of the way. And then we will continue on pressing a Charizard. Don't tell me that's an encounter. Okay, okay, it's a ninja. That's actually kind of cool. <clears throat> All right, Kanochi Iku. That is so cool. All right, so it's got a Pachirusu. Pachir uh, I can't ever say that Pokemon's name. All right. Let's go ahead and take this trainer out. We will use, I think Astonish. I think that'll be our best bet against this. Quick attack, that's fine. All right, so let's use Astonish. Uh, better yet, <laughs> go ahead and switch to something else. This is gonna take forever. Let's go ahead and switch on out to our boy, Unfortunate. All right. So it uses charm. That is so annoying. Attack harshly fail. All right. Well, thankfully we're not using an attack move. We're going to use Venom Shock. That way we can use our special attack. Didn't KO it, but we only need to do one more and it should take it out. Quick attack. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Get that Pachirisu out of here. All right, so we go to level 16. Not bad. And let's see. Jesse goes to 13. Pikachu, you received 444 winning. Why'd you say Pikachu? Let's see. The grave where Pikachu rests, I address it using its words. Oh, okay, okay, I got you, I got you. That is so sad. Sorry to hear that. All right, so we got the TM100 Confide. Put that in the TM box. And do we got any other items? Let's see. Big mushroom. Not bad, not bad. Got a super potion. Let's go ahead and battle these trainers. Might as well get some XP. Wee oui, wee. Oui, it's a battle. It's a battle. Okay. <laughs> what? What is up with her face? That is definitely a spooky girl. What is up with her face? Like, seriously. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be a bug water type, I believe. So with that being said, we should do quite a bit with Peck. Oh, yeah. Thing's almost out of there. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, Hopefully we don't take... Okay, we don't. I wasn't sure how much we were going to take. I couldn't remember if that was a bug or grass move. I guess that's a grass move. All right, so let's finish this thing off with a Peck. Nice, nice, nice. So I'll take care of Ninkata. What do you got next? You spooky girl. <laughs> All right, Franco went to 11. I went to nine. Meowth. Uh, this is going to be the Alolan Meowth, so it'll be a dark normal type. Let's see. Let's do... Let's bring out Jesse. Let's give him some love. Switch side back in. All right, so brought out a Meowth. It's fine, that's fine. All right, so let's use Spark. Because we are a Sparky boy. Nice, nice, nice. So I'll take care of Meowth. All right. What? What happened to her face? That is so weird. Oh my gosh. This is... This is a weird game. I don't even know if I want to see what happens with this guy. 
I guess let's find out. I don't even know what's going on with this. When I come to the Pokemon Cemetery, it's no good because I get so mournful. All right, let's see what this guy looks like. What? You're challenged by Shadow Boy Jeremy? That's kind of weird. It's kind of cool, though. All right, so we've got a Marsh Shadow. Fair enough. Uh, Marsh Shadow should just be a ghost type. So we can actually do quite a bit of damage with Astonish. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Pursuit. It's going to be a dark move. Should eat it. Yeah. And we activate our Orenberry. Alright, so let's go for another Astonish. We really need to get a better ghost type move. Okay, we got the flinch. That is one thing that is good about Astonish, though, is that you can flinch. Alright, so I'll take care of Marshadow. Alright, let's see what we got next. So Psy goes up to level 16. Wants to learn Ominous Win. Okay, just whenever I was talking about learning a new ghost move, we learned a new ghost move. That is awesome. All right, so we got rid of Astonish. We got an Ominous Win now. All right, so what's he got next? Litwick. That's fine. Should be fine. Oh, wait. Litwick is fire also. It is only level 9, though. I'm going to risk it. I think we're fine. We should be fine here. Yeah, we're fine. We'll take that thing out. That's what we really need, too. We need a fire type. A fire and a water type. That would be really nice right now. All right, so that takes care of the shadow boy. I think now, since we're done with this area, let's go ahead and head to a Pokey Center. That way we can heal up. And then we'll go down. We'll do the talking for the, uh, the beach and all that stuff. Get all that stuff out of the way. All right, so let's go ahead and head on down. And we will head over to the Pokey Center. There we go. There we go. I'm glad that we finally have access to the Pokey Center and everything, though. Because that helps out a lot. Like, that's one thing that would be a pain. Is doing a Nuzlocke. And without them having a Pokey Center. Or playing a game. And not being able to use a Pokey Center. That could be interesting, too. That could actually be a good idea, though, to do for a challenge. Do a Nuzlocke, but no Poke Center. I don't know. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> That'd be a lot of potions and items we'd have to buy. All right. So let's see. What is that? A Guzzlord? Yo, that actually looks kind of cool. That's pretty cool. It's so beautiful. You can only see this on postcards from where I live. Mr. Glutton has been attracting too many tours, so I've got no vacant rooms to offer you. But that doesn't mean you've come for nothing. Here, follow me this way. Okay. That's actually kind of cool. Can we go inside, though? Oh, we can. What do we got inside? If you're off of your island challenge, then you'll need to help many different Pokemon. Okay. Can't interact with that. <clears throat> we can probably buy sodas and stuff right there, but I'm not too worried about that. And... <clears throat> <ugh. clears throat> Alright. So let's go ahead and get this trainer battle done. I am Kanuchi by the beach. Fair enough. Let's see what you got. Mr. Dylan. <clears throat> Sneasel. Okay, so that could be a problem. <coughs> I apologize. I'm trying to clear my throat. I'm sorry about that. But uh, that could be a problem because this is an ice type. Eh, we're a lot lo higher level. I think we're fine. I don't even know if this thing even knows any ice moves at its level. Alright, so let's use Ominous Wind. See how much that does. That does nothing. Oh, that's right. It's not very effective. Uh... Try Peck. That's what Peck does. Isn't Sneasel just an ice type or is it dark ice? I think it's dark ice. 
I think that's why it's not very effective. So I think we're only stuck using Peck. Because Bullet Sea's not going to do a lot of damage either. And yeah, it looks like it doesn't even know a ice move. So we were right on that. All right, so Sneasel's out. All right, so let's see. Sand Shrew. So that's going to be the ice type because it's in a low end. Uh, let's bring out Jesse. Let's get Jesse leveled up some. All right, so bring out our Jesse boy. All right, he's got a Sand Shrew Alolan form, which is actually pretty cool. It's it's not the best Alolan form, but it still is kind of cool. All right, so we use Spark. Should take it. Okay, it doesn't take it out. But we got the paralysis, so that's good. Okay, I am glad that we swapped out because that would do a lot of damage to our uh to our Rowlet. All right, so let's take care of Sand Shrew. I am glad I swapped out. That would have been trouble. All right, so there's Dylan. Got him finished off. All right, so I guess now we can go ahead and go down to the beach because I don't want to go up there and go to the challenge. I want to actually go ahead and go down to the beach, see what all we have going on down there. So let's see. Oh, cool. Lunala's there. That's pretty neat. Big wave beach. I wish they had like a patch of grass where we had like a fishing pole or something though. That'd be nice. All right, let's see. Don't think nothing's down here. All right, so let's go ahead and go up here. I guess there's not really too much to do. All right, let's see what she says. Welcome to Big Wave Beach. Beach, you've came uh, to the exact right place if you're looking for some Lunala surf. The moon collar Lunala is bored and wants to feel the warmth of the sea of Alola through you know, greenhorns like you who want to get in Lunala surf. You have to toughen up and show that they can really handle it first. Um, come back when you're as tough as real Kahuna, okay? Lunala will be holding our breath in anticipation till you do. Fair enough. All right, so I guess there's not much to do here. Let's go ahead and go back up. What's going on now? Oh, the uh, Team Skull Grunts. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Former Team Skull guys, you know you can't ride here. So, more than likely, there's going to be a thing where they're going to say, Oh, we can ride here. We do what we want. And I'm probably going to have to battle both of them. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. It's what it's looking like. Somebody please help these numbskulls away from... Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. So we're going to have to battle both of them, it looks like. What are they saying? What's with that kid looking duo? Are they some kind of local celebrities? Hey, they're from Team Skull, that bunch of bullies. I'm not scared of grunts, but their boss is supposed to be really scary. All right, let's see what we got. What are you looking at, Jimbo? Only those who have beaten Guzma's Trials can shoo us around. Fair enough. Let's see what we got. You're challenged by punk guy Rubik. All right, so he's got a dew pider. We take that out pretty easily. I'm not worried about a dew pider. That would be a great mon to get right now, though. A bug water type. That would be great. Bug types aren't always the best, like as far as their attacks and everything, usually pretty weak. But I mean, it's, it's a really good mon, especially when it turns a Reckonid or whatever the name is of that mon. That mon's a good mon to get. Yeah, we take that out easy. All right, so what's he got next? He's got a zoo bat. Uh, let's go ahead and bring out Jesse. Whoop, not unfortunate. Let's bring out Jesse because Jesse is actually, it can actually do a super effective attack against it, which uh, probably could take, I don't see why we couldn't take out a zoo bat with our Psy. But Zubats get really annoying with the Confuse Ray, and I don't want to deal with that. I'd rather just one-shot this thing and get this thing out of here. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. I mean, like, as much as we need more typings and everything, it actually is a good thing that we at least have Zora Aura, because he does have the electric, which is very useful. Uh, 
Let's get rid of Fury Swipes. Because Aura Aura is a physical attacker, so I do want to keep Spark for right now until we get something better. But now we can actually attack and switch out, which will be good. Glare, that'll be useful. So now we can actually paralyze the Pokemon to help us catch them. So that'll actually be good. That'll actually help us out. All right, so I guess now we're going to have to battle the other one as well. So let's see. You're a trial goer. You should have said earlier our boss team skull. We respect him in trial goers. Okay, I guess not. You better not tell Guzma we messed with you. Seriously, he'll put us back in trainer skull if he finds out. Okay, so I guess we don't have to battle the other one. Luna, Lunala is happy. Obtained a fresh water. Okay, so not a total waste of time. That'll actually help us out. All right. So let's go ahead and get over here and see if we got any items, which I believe we do. I believe we have some items over here. Okay, we got one right there. Probably have to go around to get to it. Yep. We got white herb. Okay, fair enough. Let's go ahead and continue. Go up around here. We got another Lunala. That's pretty sick. All right. I think for them, you have to use BP points. That's why I'm not talking to them. I believe it's B po BP points you need for them. Uh, so I'm not going to worry about it. Let's go ahead and continue up. All right, let's see what she's got. See what Pokemon you've got. <clears throat> Kahili. It's kind of a cool name, actually. All right, so it's got a Peaky Pet. Should be able to take care of this, no problem. I don't really see us having a problem with a Peaky Peck. Uh, it'd be better if we had Zora Aura up front, which that's probably what we need to do. We need to put Zora... Well, he's actually getting pretty close to the same level. Probably after this, he'll be caught up. And then we need to level up our other mons too to get them caught up as well. I just want to make sure Zora Aura is caught up because Zora Aura is such a great mon. I want to make sure he's actually caught up with our other Pokemon as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and do Spark. <clears throat> Spark should be able to take care of this. One shot it. Yep. All right. And then what do you have next? All right. You've got a Ori Corio. That's fine. Should be fine. All right. <clears throat> let's see. Let's use. So what quick attack does. <clears throat> Alright, use this peck. I want to say this is flying and something else. It might be flying electric. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's flying electric because it didn't even do super effective and that would make it neutral. So that's what I would like to say that it is. Full restore. No. Oh my gosh, that's so annoying. Ah. All right, let's hit it with another spark. We got a crit. That would be nice. Hopefully it doesn't have two full restores. I wasn't expecting that either with it being so soon in the game for it to have a full restore. That is annoying. All right, so let's take that out. Nice, nice, nice. And... Go up to level 17. Hog goes up to 11. All right, so now let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's put... Oh, Rowlet's evolving. All right, so now we got a Dark Trix. That's actually really good. I wonder what this thing's going to look like with it being a Ultra Beast Rowlet or Ultra Beast Dark Trix, though. Let's see what this thing looks like. I love the animation of these things, too. It's so sick. Okay, that look at his wings. That actually looks really cool. I kind of like how the, the new Pokemon they had to, they're all doing animations. That's so cool. Instead of just kind of like sitting there like they normally do. So yeah, we got a Dark Trick. That looks so cool on the wings. <clears throat> all right, so let's get through this. All right, so let's get to where we can actually go do our trial now. 
All right, so now we're running into Lily's brother again and Ha. Hey, sorry, don't give me a look. Sorry, I rubbed the waves a little too long, okay? Yeah, let's go ahead and get through this. <clears throat> Stuff like this, I kind of wish that I did have speed up enabled, but like I said, I took speed up off because I didn't want to, I didn't want to end up using it too much. Because I did find a way to where I can use speed up, but I think it's best we don't. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to battle. We can't even catch whatever it is. Just an Ekans anyhow. Which we can battle it and destroy it and actually get an item from it, which I think we might just do. Let's go ahead and kill it so we can get an item. See what Ominous Wind does. That is so sick with the wings. I like that. All right. Let's just finish this thing off with Ominous Wind. <clears throat> nice. So I'll take care of Ekans. See if we get an item. Guess not. Sometimes you get an item, sometimes you don't. All right. Let's try to get through here without... Uh, I'm going to go around. <laughs> We're already a pretty good level, so I'm not too worried about battling all these trainers. I mean, I know you get cash and everything else, but... I'm not that worried about it. All right. So now we get to where we can do the trial. I guess Feromosa, it seems your head is a little bonker. I actually like Buzzwall a lot, though. Buzzwall would be sick to get. Come on. Let's get your head checked at the PMC. All right. Let's go ahead and heal up. Yep. Yeah, this is where she goes to tell us that we got the trials. There's going to be a totem beast. We got to defeat the totem beast. Because they don't have gems here. Instead of the gems, you actually have the trials. But uh, I think this game actually has a couple gems in it. I would like to say. And there's a weird Rotom. Oh my gosh. Like, why? Why? Do it, guys. Do it. Use the Z loot box. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and use it. Yep. I'm trying to. All right. No, no, no. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. All right. <clears throat> so see what we get. I'm going to go ahead and stop it. All right. So we get power that cuts the price of Pokemarts in half. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. You open the Rotom's pocket and put the lead boost away. All right. Z loot box is so cool. I'll let you attempt the first try, okay? I need to take a quick rest that this walking really tires me out. See you later. All right. So let's go ahead and heal up. Yes. All right. And then we'll go ahead and start doing our trial. It's so weird that it turned our Pokemon into a Noctile. Or a Hoot Hoot and then a Noctile. That's so weird. All right. So let's go ahead and check that Lily Power thing out or whatever the heck they want to call it so let's see or actually i think we actually got to rather chick looking case for carrying contact lenses all right lily boost one of the post uh, rotom powers it raises all stats of your battling pokemon yeah so i guess we just use that while we're battling fair enough fair enough which knowing me probably never use it <laughs> i usually don't use that stuff all right so let's go ahead and get started on this trial all right you got your potions open it stocked up real good you won't find a way got it got it got it bug totem beast correct correct so this is where we actually fight that bug uh ultra beast now are you ready to face destruction in its total form yes i'm ready where i go on inside I mean, that's what I can guess. I'm guessing that we're battling the bug Ultra Beast. Seeing as Ultra Beasts are all over the place and it is a bug one. All right, let's see. Yeah, this one, this is where we got to battle three Pokemon. And then we can actually battle the, let's see. Seems to be skipping a few details. All right, there's a Wimpod. That would actually be a good Pokemon to get. Because it's water bug. I would not mind getting one of those. Defeat the three Pokemon hiding in their dens. 
Then reach the pedestal deep within the cave and collect the Z crystal there. All right. Yep. So three of them, and then we can do the trial. The strongest Pokemon here, the Totem Beast. Yep. Fair enough. Fair enough. And it begins now. All right. Let's do it. All right. Trial start. So let's go ahead and go over here to this first one. We know there's a Pokemon in here. So we'll get this one out of the way. All right, a Wimpod. We didn't switch our Pokemon. I need to do that. I need to switch our Pokemon up a little bit. That looks so cool. I like that. Uh, We'll go for Peck because Peck will take this thing out pretty easily. So we'll go for Peck. Nice, nice, nice. And then we need to... I really, I really don't want to level up Ekans right now just because I don't know what else is in here and how well he's going to do, but let's go ahead and put him up. It'll be fine. Actually, I want to actually give uh, Haas some actually experience. Let's go ahead and put him up front. So I think he'll do fine. What are you actually doing a trial, huh? I guess we both find out. Well, we just got told what we're going to do on a trial. All right. Let's see. Let's go ahead and kick this one. Oh, automatically comes out. That's right. That's right. I forgot that some of them, they automatically come on out. All right. So a win pod. And then I believe we got to battle somebody before we can get the next one because they cover up the other ones. It's going to start running around. Uh, we really don't have that many good moves on him. But that's good that that doesn't affect it. That's one of the good things that normal moves don't affect the ghost types. Judgment doesn't affect it. So we kind of get free XP here. Astonish again. And that will take out that Wimpod. So now we got one more Pokemon, and then we can actually go after the Totem Beast. I wonder, I wonder if it is going to be an Ultra Beast or if it's going to be something else. We'll see what they put there. Because this game does have a lot of changes. Okay, Brick Break. That could actually be pretty useful. We'll see if that's useful or not. And then once we finish this, we can actually get another encounter. All right, so let's go do this. This is so annoying for this one that they do that. I kind of wish that instead they would have had them just come and battle us at this point. That way we could battle them and then do this rather than just running all over the place trying to get this thing to pop out. All right, so we're going to do this. He's going to pop up at the one in front of us. Yep. And he's going to pop up at the other one. We'll come here and then we battle that uh, team A there or whatever they're called. All right. Actually... Can we actually try to skip ahead and do this? Or is that not going to help? I never tried to do that. Let's see what this does. No, okay. So we got to restart. That's annoying. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> I guess let's do it in the order we're supposed to. I hate that they do that. That they make you do things a certain way sometimes. But, fair enough. Alright, so let's go up there. Let's do it the right way. Alright. So come over here. We'll kick this one. You hurt your legs. And then let's go do the other one. Let's see. Kick it. Yes, you hurt your legs. And now we can actually go do this, battle Team Aether, and then battle that Pokemon. Yep, here we go. Ubi detected, Ubi detected. You again, are you hunting down the Ultra Beast in here too? I have to defeat it. Huh, so there really is an Ultra Beast here. Hey, what should we do? Fighting over Ultra Beast with a kid. A cute one. <laughs> Wow. Cute or ugly, Ultra Beast still Ultra Beast engage this kid in battle. 
Fair enough. So weird. All right, let's see what we got going on. All right, so we're going against Recon Salasas or Salasasa. Such a weird name. All right, so let's bring out Ha. And let's see what we use. Let's use Confuse Ray. That'll actually be pretty useful. Use this growl. That's totally fine. We're not even using a physical move. Actually, is Astonish a physical? I don't think it's physical. I want to say that it's uh, special. All right. So Poipole is now confused. And we will use Astonish now. Hit yourself. Hit yourself. Hit yourself. Ah, fair enough. Fair enough. All right, so we use Astonish. See what this does. Not much at all. Let's actually switch because uh, that can be kind of dangerous. So we're not really doing too much damage. And I don't want to lose Ha. Don't want to lose any Pokemon that we don't have to. Just so bring out Jesse. Hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself. Ah, oh, it uses Acid. Okay. That's still fine. We sh Yeah, we, we don't take too much damage from that. Uh, Let's go for Spark. All right, nice. So I'll take care of Poipole. And I don't think we battle the other one. All right, Franco goes up to 13. All right, nice. So that'll do it for them. We lost, but how? There's only one conclusion. This, his hunger for Ultra Beast is just too great. But what good are Ultra Beast to him unless he flirts with the Ultra Beast? <laughs> what? Ooh, what a disgusting human being. Let's get away before his weird hobby gets to us. <laughs> I ain't flirting with no Ultra Beast. That is weird. Oh, what do you want now? One more thing. Can you perhaps give us a hint on the Ultra Beast location? Saw him peeping into those dens. The Ultra Beast must be in one of these. Really? Then let's find it at once onwards. Yeah, so here's where they'll actually cover up the holes. And then we battle this one over here. Go ahead and go inside. And we will battle this other Pokemon. So we got Scram. Oh, cute little Joltik. That's so cute. I love Joltik. That's such a cool Mon. All right. So let's go ahead and see what Astonish does. Might not do a whole lot of damage. We eat that. Speed falls though, yeah. All right, so we use Astonish. Decent, decent amount of damage actually. Not a whole lot, but still a decent amount. We need to learn a different ghost move uh, for him though. Or for her. I just noticed that that's a girl Pokemon. We need to learn a new Pokemon, a new ghost move for her. I'm always so used to saying him because it's always a lot harder to find a female Pokemon. But fair enough. All right. So we use that and that should take it out. Nice. So that's the last one. And we should be able to start heading up there to take on the totem Pokemon. Yep. Defeated all the Pokemon. All right. Let's go ahead and head on up here. And we will get ready to battle the Pokemon. Are you stuck? Fantastic. You proved your strength of three Pokemon. Then go right ahead inside. All right, guys. If y'all enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. Leave a comment. And let me know if y'all want to be named after the next Pokemon. And if you like this type of content, consider subscribing. And if you do, hit that notification bell. That way you know whenever I post the next video. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.